The study of resources forms an important part of economic geography. Resources are defined as a country's collective means of support. The study of resources involves man's relationship with the environment. Resources satisfy man's material needs and desires. They have a dominant influence on man's physical environment. About 2000 years ago, man was unaware of a variety of mineral resources in his environment. As recently as 250 years ago, man knew nothing about petroleum and gas reserves. Once their use was known, fossil fuels became the most precious resources. Resources have therefore certain characteristics which make them available and useful to man. In this chapter, we will study the following concepts: resources and development, conservation of resources. Resources and development. Resources are defined as a country's collective means of support. The study of resources involves man's relationship with the environment. Resources satisfy man's material needs and desires. About 2000 years ago, man was unaware of a variety of mineral resources in his environment. As recently as 250 years ago, man knew nothing about petroleum and gas reserves. Once their use was known, fossil fuels became the most precious resources. Resources have therefore certain characteristics which make them available and useful to man. Characteristics of resources biosphere The resources come from our physical environment human beings are at the center of its one component called biosphere economic human beings make resources available through their economic activities social human institutions industry and society accelerate their development technology it is the main human agent of transformation of materials available in nature into resources value of resources resources have economic value they are the backbone of the economy of a nation their value arises on account of the following purposes all the resources come from air water and land they are made available when human beings interact with the environment these natural materials obtained through interaction become useful and have value Resources are the base for economic development. By utilizing resources, houses, buildings, villages, towns, cities, machines, industries, etc., can be established. Resources are essential for the economy. Resources need to be transported from their place of origin to their place of consumption, and hence they stimulate economic activities. characteristics of resources based on origin based on origin the resources can be classified into natural and human resources natural resources these are the gifts of nature which are found useful for making the life of human beings comfortable and worth living natural resources include natural vegetation soil water air minerals and even rocks these can be of two main types biotic and abiotic biotic resources these are living resources like forests and forest products agriculture animals birds marine life etc abiotic resources these are material resources of non living things examples are minerals like iron ore copper land resources soils etc human resources human beings are human resources made valuable through education training experience or in other ways so that they may become capable of making use of other resources efficiently in fact human resources are the most common as well as useful resources of a region or a country human resources do not merely mean the number of people living in an area but how the people possess skills education and knowledge to develop other resources based on renewability exhaustibility renewable resources renewable resources are water forests soil etc this renewability is possible only under certain conditions some trees may also take longer time to grow for example it takes between 50 to 200 years for a tree to grow in a forest availability of fresh and pure water in a river may be obtained under certain conditions of environment non renewable resources 
These resources get exhausted after use. Resources which cannot be replenished are fossil fuels such as petroleum, gas, coal and other minerals. Based on ownership Individual resources. These are resources privately owned by individuals or groups. For example, land owned by an individual, a family or groups of people organized in companies. Community owned resources. Many Adivasis do not believe in private ownership of land, forests and water bodies. They consider these resources as owned by the community. Some other examples of these types of resources are public lands, parks, wealth, playgrounds and panchayat ghars in urban and rural areas. National resources. These resources are owned by the government. In the past, all land, water and other natural resources were considered to be owned by the sovereign, king, emperor or the ruler. Even today, the government owns such resources of general public use as railways, irrigation canals, roads and buildings. International resources. These resources are owned by international institutions like the United Nations or other regional international organizations. Based on the state of development, resources are of four types. Potential, developed resources, stock and reserve. Click on the given tabs to know more about them. Potential resources. These resources are found in a certain region but may not have been utilized. For example, Rajasthan and Gujarat have enormous potential for the development of wind and solar energy but these have not been utilized so far or have not been fully exploited. Developed resources. These resources have been surveyed and their quality and quantity have been determined for utilization. It now depends on the available technology and its feasibility to utilize these resources. Stocks. The resources are obtained from our environment. They may have limited stocks available for use. It may also be possible that we may not have the appropriate technology to mine these resources. Therefore, these resources are included in the stock. For example, water is a rich resource of energy. Reserves. These resources are in stock and can be put to many uses with the help of available know-how and technology. For example, we have the know-how of using the stocks of water generating electricity called hydroelectricity. The potential may be large or small depending on the cost involved and need. These water resources can be utilized to a limited extent. Development of resources. Human beings use these resources indiscriminately because they consider them to be mere gifts of nature. Resources were accumulated by a few greedy individuals or nations. That is why today we have a problem of rich and poor nations, of haves and have-nots. The indiscriminate utilization of resources has created ecological problems at global level. Some of these problems are today threatening the very survival of mankind. These problems are global warming, ozone depletion, pollution as well as land and soil degradation. Essential Steps for Development of Resources Sustainable Use For the development of resources, their sustainable use at national and international levels is necessary. It is only through sustainable use that we can ensure equitable distribution and rational use of resources. Protection of resources. Conservation has become very important because of huge population growth and environmental degradation. The demand for resources has also risen considerably on account of higher standards of living and rising consumption patterns. This is essentially true in the case of Western countries where consumption patterns today are extravagant, cornering and wasting a lion's share of global resources. Stabilizing prices. Increased demand for resources and their short supply tends to push up prices. The fear of exhaustion leads to undesirable practices like hoarding and black marketing which send prices shooting up. Therefore, it is necessary to have a coordinated resource policy to keep prices in check. Problem of wastes and pollution. 
the exploitation of resources leads to accumulation of huge wastes in the environment. Moreover, many resources are also misused either because of inefficient technology or wasteful consumption patterns. Accidents Many accidents happen while mining, transporting and using resources. These accidents not only cause loss of life and property but also cause great damage to our environment. If proper planning is lacking, frequent accidents are inevitable. Sustainable Development Sustainable development is defined as economic development that ensures use of resources and the environment without compromising the needs of future generations. The Earth Summit held in June 1992 at Rio de Janeiro, Brazil in South America, discussed for the first time issues concerning our environment. The Earth Summit was attended by over 150 heads of states and NGOs, non-governmental organizations. It adopted Agenda 21 which reflects the concerns of the delegates. For the first time, the focus was on sustainable development. The conference was organized by the United Nations Conference on Environment and Development, UNCED. The declaration under Agenda 21 stated, Environmental damage, poverty and diseases need to be combated. There is a need for global cooperation on common interests and shared responsibilities. We should not compromise on the needs of the future generation. The major objective should be to draw Local Agenda 21 or act locally and think globally. Resources Planning in India Essential Steps to Resource Planning in India Inventory of Resources We have to keep size and type of resources available across the regions of the country in mind. We have to identify the available engineering know-how and technology and do surveying, mapping, etc. Planning Structure We have to evolve a proper planning structure and on the basis of available appropriate technology setup, formulate resources development plan. Development Goals It is essential to match national and regional goals and prepare plans accordingly. This will help to avoid intra or inter-regional conflicts. Human Exploitation We have to ensure that resources are not exploited wrongly in a particular region. For example, the forest resources will need more conservation measures than their exploitation. Appropriate Technology In India's context, appropriate technology is essential because in the past under colonial rule, resources did not often contribute to national development. It is only with the help of appropriate technology that certain shortcomings on account of history of the subcontinent can be overcome. 